birthday breakfast with the boys. Thank you. Beep. That's him. Thank you. Let's see what we got this morning. One of these. Bacon. They've got bacon. They've got bacon. <laughs> Rick's They've getting excited. Bacon. They've got bacon. <laughs> Tell you, they've got bacon. 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 Rest aid treat. Bacon. What would it be if, if we've got bacon and eggs? Yeah. And sausage and tomato. And black pudding. <laughs> Do you think we'll have black pudding? Okay. Oh, croissant. croissant. Yeah, shit. Chocolate. Gracias. Oh, it's warm, but. Yes. Yes, yeah, I think one with chocolate. Chocolate. We've got tomatoes. Cho chocolate marmalade, do they work together? Chocolate marmalade, I'll have one of those. Cheers. Oh, tomatoes. They have got everything, look. Can I have tomato, please? Gracias. Si, sí, gracias. Look at that. Yeah. See? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Lots of Gracias. Sure, oh, see, just, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So can I have two watermelon, please? Which is gases. Thank you. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk, of course. Thank you. Rest day today, um, but rest day for Malimoto doesn't mean rest day. Rest day for Malimoto guys means fix everything that's broken on the bike and prepare everything for the marathon stages that are to come. The following two days is basically like two stages back to back without a service park in the middle. Uh, so we can't get access to parts, we've got to fix any problems with the bike. Uh, tomorrow night without our Malimoto boxes so we've only got the tools we've got on the bike and what we've got between the other competitors and that's the same for everyone in the cars and trucks so it's going to be a long day so it's important that everything on the bike is perfect for tomorrow for the marathon stage so where to start first of all get the bike clean I actually did that last night uh, took the bike to KTM and got it all washed uh, and took the tanks off and got everything cleaned and uh, so I was hit the ground running really with a clean bike so get the bike stripped down. First job I wanted to do this morning is get the forks out of the bike, make sure that the fork seals are not leaking or anything, double check everything. Um, so I just went right, right through, clean, take the bikes out, forks out of the bike, clean everything, make sure the low front fender is not, no problem, there's no cracks in it or it's going to let me down uh, and just uh, get everything ready with the front forks really. So I cleaned the seals, took the uh, fork gaiters off, put new gaiters on just to get rid of any damage so that the, no dirt can get into the forks because the coming days I think are going to be pretty muddy and brutal on the bike so I wanted to make sure those were absolutely perfect. So got the forks done, got those back in, everything torqued back up. Then we moved on to the wheels. <coughs> So the wheels, uh, it's important that we have a brand new set of tyres and mooses, especially with it being marathon stage, because we're going to use them for two days. Um, so I, made, I actually installed some on a set of wheels back home, so my spare set of wheels had already had mooses and tyres that I'd installed. So put those in the bike, but before we did, we needed to take those to the organisation, to the FIM, to get uh, sealed basically and what they do is they put a sticker between the rim and the tyre uh, with a marking on it so that you can't change them during the stage because what was happening in the old days is people were swapping tyres from com slower competitors so they had newer tyres and or stopping on the road section and illegally fitting tyres so to stop that they seal it all now so you seal it with a sticker and then got those done, got those in the bike, um, so got the wheels done uh, then moved on to some other jobs like making sure the fuel tanks were right, uh, checking all the connections and you know loot, just cleaning some electrical connectors that get covered in mud and stuff like that, and just having a good old run over the bike. Uh, I had a slight electrical issue with the um, one of my ICOs, the second ICO, it was just the backup. Uh, so I fixed that. I think it was some moisture in a connector or something like that. Got that all fixed and uh, and back on the bike working. So that that took another hour to get all that figured out and done. Um, and then the other stuff that I did on the bike is prepared it for marathon stage with a uh, fresh air filter, got a spare air filter with me on the bike, I've got my seat cover with me because I know it's probably going to rain tomorrow night and I don't want to get the seat all wet 
uh, for the following stage. And just some general precautions ready for the marathon stage. And the other thing is a full oil and filter service. So change the oil, uh, again, fresh oil for a double stage that's to come. Probably going to be about 1,500 kilometres, so it's important to have fresh oil and filters in the bike. Uh, and just also to check everything out on the bike. So all good, check the wheel bearings, check everything's tight on the chassis, and pretty much good to go. So that's what we needed to do on rest day. I'd better get on with it. <laughs> So as well as me working on my bike, and you know I'm a Malamoto rider so I do all the work myself, but this rest day is a big opportunity for the big teams like Toyota, Peugeot, Mini, all the big truck teams, Tata, Tatra and whatever, you know, all the big teams here um, to really go to town and service everything up. So what you see here in the rest day typically, and for the big teams in the motorcycles as well, like the factory KTM team, the, everything gets stripped down to the chassis and checked. You know, you'll see engines out, gearboxes out, axles out of cars and trucks. And this is the time where they've got a full day for the mechanics to spend all day working on the bikes. It's a long old day and you'll see them working through the night, but it's quite essential when you've considered that you've still got 6,000 kilometers to go. You know, another thing just to throw a spanner in the works, it starts pissing down halfway through the day. Uh, it was lovely and sunny in the morning, and I, thankfully I got most of my work done in the morning. Um, but things to consider, just like, you know, carrying your road book from the restaurant where I marked it to my bike to install it, it was peeing down, and just the outside few rolls got wet, and it just, it's a risk, you know, having a wet road book, it could tear or something. Um, and also getting, personally getting wet and cold, my feet are absolutely soaked running around in trainers in like three inches of water in the bivouac. And that's not, that's just me, you know. All these big teams that are out servicing cars all night and rolling around on the floor in mud and water. I mean, it's, uh, it really is treacherous. So uh, I'm happy to have it all done now and I'm, I'm really ready to go to bed. Oh, mate, look at you. <laughs> Here, dude. Oh, mate, I've lost that freaking tape. That's the stuff he gave me like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> is it freaking wrong somewhere? Oh, mate, <laughs> look where it is. <laughs> Are we. Ah, like. Cheeky what? little bastard. What the hell? Mate, I'm so glad I found that. <laughs> is this your tape, mate? But... That's, uh, that's Andy's tape. Is it Andy? Andy did all um, the graphics. <laughs> thanks Andy for doing the graphics on the videos. And cheers for the tape. It, it, it's rocking my road book. It's quite a tedious job this. One that requires patience. Something that's running a little bit thin on the ground today I'm afraid. One more bit of Andy tape and we're done. Look at the size of it. This is 800 kilometers of road book. So wish me luck. Yeah, that's it today, finally. It's 20 to 10. Uh, yeah, got a lot done today on the bike. I started at 11 after doing some stuff for the videos this morning. Um, and I worked till now pretty much uh, with a couple of hours to mark my road book and eat dinner. Um, but the plan is to get in bed by 10. So just got a few little bits to do tomorrow. Big day, uh, about 750 kilometers, I think. 800 kilometers, something like that, and the weather's going to be pretty rough. So waterproofs, um, it's not going to be an easy day for sure, and it's going to be wet and cold, and it's going to be a beasting. So I'm ready for it. Just need to get a good night's sleep.